you very much for joining us tonight on KTN Newsline. My name is Eric Lati. Our sign language interpreter is Debbie Evans. We start a story on what's happening around the country, which is Chief Justice Martha Kobe maintaining that the judiciary will not shy away from making independent decisions despite renewed attacks from President William Ruto and his allies. The CJ has further said that judges handling cases involving government projects will continue to make independent and constitutional decisions without fear or favor. David Mudoka starts KTN Newsline with that story. Chief Justice Martha Kome has come out guns blazing yet again in defense of the judiciary. Speaking on Tuesday, just a few days after President William Ruto and some of his allies opened a new war front with the judiciary in what appeared as a reaction to the Court of Appeal suspension of the housing levy, CJ Kome has said that no amount of attacks will deter the judiciary from making independent decisions. Even when we open ourselves up to dialogue, one thing we will not open ourselves to is our decision of making independence. The Chief Justice, who was addressing heads of mission and development partners, urged judges to stay put and resist all manner of intimidations, especially from the executive and legislative arms of government. We will never discuss the merit of a case. That will be determined by the judge based on the evidence, based on the law, and based on their own understanding. Who told me to encourage me during this time of attacks? And some of you told me if for any assurance, Kenya is not alone. Democracy all over the world is under attack. But this reminds me this is why we should be more vigilant and more defensive of the independence of the judiciary. And amid calls for the weeding out of corrupt judicial officers from President Ruto, CJ Kome acknowledged that the judiciary has its rotten apples that she maintained will be dealt with sooner rather than later. So we are ready as a judiciary to open ourselves for this introspection and to see who is failing in their duty. Kome's calls for the independence of the judiciary came amid similar calls directed at the government by various opposition leaders. Azimio stands for the rule of law and supports the need for an independent and professional judiciary. Subsequently, we demand that the Kenya Kwanzaa regime must keep its hands off the judiciary. Housing, the concept itself is a good concept, but how to operate it, to make it operational, is where the challenge is. And I believe they need to go back to the people to see what they want. They need to repackage it. They need to follow orders of the judiciary. They must follow orders of the judiciary. Orders are orders. Otherwise, we, will, we run into anarchy, court, court orders are done, and nobody follows them. David